Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Balenciaga, what are you doing to us? Adidas. Or as in Romania, they will call it Adidas. What are you doing to us? <laughs> this is like... Y'all, uh, there's more shenanigans coming out their way. Yeah, it's like, you know, there's a collaboration between Adidas and Balenciaga. Well, is there? Ha! Let's get to it. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deco all spelled together. By the way, thanks to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of my members and patrons exclusively. So if you want to get access to the pre-recording of some of my videos, become a tier two member or a tier two patron. Just letting you guys know. So let me cue in my live patrons and members, darling. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? So, and for those of you watching later this video, you can comment down below your thoughts on Balenciaga and the whole situation. Listen, this is what has happened, right? And I was thinking about this already for a while now. Since the whole shenanigan happened with Balenciaga, and I've made two videos on the topic, you know, Balenciaga with their latest ad campaign, with the children, and the teddy bears, and all the the photography involved, the documents that are kind of shown on these photos, for lack of a better word, you know, on YouTube, we can't really say everything, but that ad campaign that really caused Balenciaga a humongous backlash, as it should, of course. And also, quite frankly, I'm really disappointed in many of the bigger, also smaller channels, but like bigger luxury YouTube channels that are completely snobbing the situation. They're not talking about it at all because I guess they're scared that they're not going to get their sponsorship deals anymore, that they're not going to get their little freebies from Balenciaga anymore. Girl, have some moral integrity. Seriously, the world is already in shambles. Politicians are already messing it all up. We are already messing it all up. Like, and now you got to also fear as a content creator repercussions for like spreading just some common sense. Now, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. It's just my opinion. Everything's alleged. There's no rooted everything in any truths or any facts. Everything's alleged. But still, I'm sharing my opinion, and my opinion is what Balenciaga did is terrible. More people should actually raise awareness about that. And the fact that they're not really at all taking accountability for it, because listen, taking accountability for it by posting one email, uh, one message, or you know, on, on Instagram, or sending an email out with an apology and saying we're going to do better, it ain't enough. The heart was not in the right place, honey. Demna got to go. But anyway, now. I was thinking to myself, well, what's going to happen with the Adidas collaboration? I know Adidas has been collaborating with everybody and their mothers. Uh, so, you know, there's the Gucci collaboration. There's uh, the Balenciaga collaboration. I'm like, why? Why is Adidas not taking a stance? Like, Gap took a stance. Gap distanced themselves from Balenciaga and said, we're done, allegedly. But Adidas didn't say anything. Adidas was just like, nothing, nothing, no, who, but, um, mm? you know, it's like that situation, you know, that Catherine Tate episode where one of my favorite comedians, um, where she's like this co-worker that always does like the, the, the most terrible faux pas when she meets up with her colleagues or at parties and stuff like that. And she, in one of these episodes, she's like at this party and she's again going to, you know, be terribly cringe. And she's talking to another person in front of her. I don't know if it was another lady or another guy. And the, the lady had a mole, rich lady mole. If you know my channel, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, she had like this long hair growing there. <laughs> and Catherine Tate is like, oh, what you got there? Oh, it's a little hair. Let me, let me take it. Oh. It's stuck. Oh, it's growing out of you. Oh. And then she like trying to like make it good again, but it just gets worse and worse. Like that's how I feel Adidas. That's how I feel the situation with Adidas and Balenciaga was happening. Like Adidas was the Catherine Tate <laughs> pulling the hair off, but it's stuck. And then they're like trying to be like, nothing, we didn't do nothing. Now, finally, uh, you know. My my thought process is this. Now they take a stance at the end of the year. I was like, the fiscal year is ending. 
interesting that you're taking a stance now after all of your budgeting has been done and your money earning has been done and you've done your, like you can close your fiscal year with taxes and everything. And you could say that you've earned all that money, which is kind of, I guess, good for the company, for the numbers, for the shareholders, blah, blah, blah. But I thought that was really shady to like keep it all to the last minute at the end of the year. And now what happened allegedly? Allegedly, Adidas has sent out uh, an email, which is different from the email that Balenciaga sent out to their customers who have purchased a collaboration between Adidas and Balenciaga. This has been reported by several news outlets. I have here Hype Beast, but I also have several other uh, news, uh, fashion news related agencies reporting about this. But on Hype Beast, they actually um, also have uh, the quote from the email that um, some customers allegedly received from Adidas. And what Adidas wrote allegedly in this email is, we have taken the time to reevaluate our partnership with Balenciaga, and we have decided to pause all product launches until further notice. That's what the Adidas email read. Unfortunately, therefore, we will be unable to fulfill your pre-order of the Balenciaga slash Adidas Stan Smith collaboration collection. Stan Smith are the sneakers. Now, Interesting how Balenciaga was a little bit more kind of like, they didn't say like, we're not going to do it. Balenciaga's email allegedly read something in the terms of delayed in shipment. And that previous tracking numbers that the customers received for their garments, for their pieces, are no longer actual. They're going to have to kind of receive new tracking items. So Adidas is like, we're done. Balenciaga is like, no, no, we're not done. We're just a little postponed. <laughs> no problems, no issues. Oh my God, how shady. Now, listen, all of these customers, you know how it is like with these big brands. So this is how it works in the business. Depending what, what customer you have. So Adidas uh, or Nike or anybody, right? The, you have a customer who has a shop who buys your products and you allow them to purchase these exclusive collaborations. There are different contractual stipulations according to different um <clears throat> Clients. Some clients have to pay up front the entire sum that they're pre-ordering. Some clients uh, get to pay in installments. Um, you get a reduction. Like if you pay everything at once, you get a, some percentage. You have to pay less of the total. Um, there are minimums you have to order. Certain collections require you order a minimum as a store. Like they tell you, you got to order at least 12 pair of shoes per style, per colorway. Sometimes it's just four pairs. Sometimes it's 20 pair. Like there's a lot of different regulations that are stipulated when you are a buyer and when you are also brand selling. So I can imagine that a collaboration like Adidas with Balenciaga, I could imagine that for Adidas, this was a good thing. Like in terms of a lot of people, by the way, the collaboration happened before the children ad campaign. Uh, uh, travesty. So people were still into Balenciaga and like Balenciaga was at the top of the world and they probably all wanted the collab. So I could imagine that a brand like Adidas pr probably could have pushed more like, oh, you want to buy our collaboration? You have to pay everything up front, like stuff like that. So I could imagine that they received a lot of money for this collaboration from their clients in the past months. So once this shenanigan situation, everything's alleged what I'm saying, y'all. Just be very clear here. I'm just speculating. Now, once they received, you know, the notification, oh my gosh, the drama, the, the, the this terrible situation with this disgusting ad campaign, but we already got the money for our collaboration with them. The year is ending. The fiscal year is ending. So let's keep that money is what I'm thinking. Let's keep that money till the end of the year. And then at the end of the year, we say, hey, we're not going to do this collaboration anymore. And then they're going to give you back the money, like in the new year, so that they can still use that chunk of money they received as like the earning for their earnings report for 2022. This is just my speculation. But I'm like, seriously, again, you're putting business in front of morals, you know, and I'm not I'm not happy with that because other brands have taken a stance much sooner. When it comes to this Balenciaga situation, uh, this Balenciaga travesty, I'm glad that they took a stance. Don't get me wrong. Better late than never. But it's because it's just a little late that I, it leaves that bitter taste in my mouth because it, you know, and I listen, 
Adidas is going through some struggle too because they'd already took a hit with Kanye. Kanye was off, you know, off his rockers and he literally went ballistic a couple of months ago as well, or a couple of weeks ago. So Balenciaga distanced themselves from him. Gap distanced themselves from him. Adidas also, again, I think they were the last one of the three to take a stance. But they also said like, uh, because it was a lot of money, it was like billions of earnings for them, right? Through the Yeezy stuff, the, the sneakers. And like to say, okay, we're done with Yeezy, like you take a big blow. Like, I get it. Like, they suffered for that. They really did. I can imagine how bad it was for them to have to do that. So I feel the pain. I, and I am really sorry that they took that loss. And then uh, to take a second loss with the Balenciaga situation. Okay. Okay, music. <laughs> to take a second loss with the Balenciaga situation is but devastating. I, I can see how devastating that is. But still... As a consumer, from a consumer's perspective, I'm like, you waited this long? Something sketchy. Like, why did you wait this long? Like, that's not cool. Like, you waited to see if the waters are going to cool down or what. So I'm just saying, for me, this does not look good for Adidas, the fact that they waited so long. But it's not as bad as not taking any stance. Now, the second thing I want to talk about very quickly is, uh, you know, Men Fashion Week is coming up pretty soon in the new year. I'm really curious to see, first of all, <clears throat> what is Balenciaga going to do? Are they going to have a fashion show? Are they even going to have a fashion show? My prediction is they're not going to have a fashion show. They're just going to present the collection online. They're not going to have people coming that could be protesting and throwing, you know, weird stuff all over the place. And you know what I mean? I think they're going to keep it like during the lockdown, like the pandemic, they're going to be like, hey, this is going to be an online presentation, if at all. But they got to keep making money. So, but who's going to buy? Like, it's so embarrassing. Like, what are you going to do now? You're going to have a fashion show in the new year for Men Fashion Week? Like, ew. Like, nobody wants to see that. Like, seriously, I don't know. But yeah, Jesus says maybe they'll cancel the show altogether. Yeah, Debs, Adidas is slow. But Adidas was super fast when back in the day, like 2012, 2013, when Jeremy Scott collaborated with Adidas and made the My Pet Monster sneaker with the shackle. Uh, somebody in America called them out. And this is even before the sneaker was released. And there were just like uh, sample pictures shown and somebody said, oh my God, this is like uh, incentivizing slavery because you have a shackle on your shoe. I mean, this was literally a copy of My Pet Monster, a toy from the 80s. But anyway, Adidas immediately said, okay, we're not producing the sneaker. The sneaker is not coming out. But I guess it was easy for them to decide that because that was just one sneaker in a bigger collection and for them to cut out one product is not a big loss. Those sneakers weren't that popular anyway back in the day. <clears throat> anyway, but Gloria also says, I agree, I don't think they will have a show or a very small one with only a selective few. Hmm. Times have changed, right, Debs? Yeah. So anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is a really interesting conversation to be had. And I know a lot of you are super upset with the Balenciaga thing. And I, I read comments under my other two videos that I made on this Balenciaga situation where people are like, oh my God, you know, this is terrible. The morals, the morals. Yes, it's terrible. We've already all agreed on that. But now I'm interested in the next level. What, what do you think what happens next? Like, is, re is there redemption for Balenciaga? Like, can they do a show, even if only online? Um... Is the blow that Adidas is going to take like way too big or are they going to recover from this monetarily, but also like judgment wise from the from the customers for the fact that they waited so long to take a stance or you think it's going to be OK? Let me know in the comment section down below. And until next time, never give up on love and subscribe.